I can fit my hands through my hoops. Hi everybody, welcome back to another haul video. Today we are trying out boohoo.com. Now, a few months ago, I did a haul of Nasty Gal and PLT loungewear and the quality was a little hit and miss. So this time I decided to go with Boohoo for a few key winter wardrobe pieces that I can layer up and dress up or dress down. I'm trying to build the ultimate capsule wardrobe and hopefully the pieces that I've chosen will be versatile and can be used across quite a few different outfit ideas. So I think I'll start with the dresses. So I got a couple of dresses purely because you can kind of layer them up with three pairs of tights, leggings, jumpers, coats, boots, and you can still look cute, still look pretty, but most importantly, be warm. So the first dress is the cross back pinafore dress in the colour khaki. I can't remember the last time I owned anything green in my wardrobe, but this colour, I feel, can be paired with so many different neutral tones, hence why I picked it up. Now straight away, I've noticed that it is not transparent at all. It's really well made. The front panel is a double layer and the straps are sewn into that. There's no loose threads. The skirt is a single layer, but that won't matter with me because I'll be wearing about six pairs of tights anyway, because it is January. The waistline is really nice. It's kind of like a double layered sewn in band and it's in sort of like a skater dress style. Now, I thought this could be cute with any sort of long sleeve top underneath it or even jumpers if it's going to be a really cold day. And you could even cross into spring with this piece and you could wear like a black t-shirt underneath this as we start to cross into spring. So I think I'll be able to get a lot of wear out of this and create loads of different looks. Let's go over to the try on clip now. So the next dress is very in keeping with the colour palette of my wardrobe right now, but it's something I definitely am missing for my wardrobe until now. And it is this. Now this is the rib floral print belted skater dress in nude. Now holding it up here does it no justice whatsoever, but I thought this looked really cute on the model and she was wearing like a teddy jacket with it and it just looked really cute really girly but you can definitely edge it up with some docks and some like darker makeup so I thought this would be something that I could definitely style. It's not as thick as the cross back pinafore dress but like it says it's a ribbed material and it's kind of like a soft knit and it's got these pretty black flowers all over it so we'll definitely go with black shoes and black tights but it's still really girly. It has short sleeves and these are folded back and tacked in place and it has a tie belt around the waist as well. So yeah, I'm excited to style this one. So let's go. So moving on to the next piece, now this is just a simple white 
sort of fisherman's knit jumper and it is the crop fisherman jumper in cream now i got this in a size medium because i didn't want it to be too oversized i still wanted it to fit quite fitted so i can layer like jackets and coats on the top of it and for the price of this it's much better quality than i was expecting the color is nice it's not like that lucid yellow that you can sometimes get cheaper made items in. The knit is really, really nice and thick as well. It's quite chunky, made much better than I was expecting, and for the price as well, you definitely can't go wrong. So let's style it. So the next thing, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it in the viewfinder, but I got a giant sweatshirt. Now this is the oversized sweater in the colour sand and I wanted it to fit really oversized so I got a large in this. It's huge. Again, really nice quality. It's not transparent at all. The outside is like a really nice, your typical sweatshirt material and then on the inside it's really soft and fluffy. I know straight away that this is going to be really, really nice and warm. So this, I think, would go really nice on like your dressier down days if you wanted to go for a walk but it was cold or if you wanted to just wear it around the house. But it's definitely a good layering piece because it's not as thick as a jumper so you could fit a coat over the top of it. I can't wait to live in this. Next is something that I have been living in all week, I'm not gonna lie. This is Cozy Goals. It might even have some food on it. I hope it doesn't. So this is the thickest, longest, most luxurious cardigan I have ever owned. This is just gonna do it no justice whatsoever, but it is a maxi cardigan. Oop, excuse me. It's got pockets, it's so thick, and it's really heavy as well. So at the bottom of the cardi you have some little frill detail. It's like a really chunky knit, oversized fitting. It's got short sleeves, but they don't come up too short on your arm because of just how wide the shoulders are. And it is so warm. Like Boohoo are killing it with the quality. I am really impressed, especially for the price I paid for every item. So I'm gonna style this now, but I feel like I'm gonna struggle to not make it look frumpy because... <laughs> so I could literally buy the exact same outfit as an influencer on Instagram and where she looks really cute wearing oversized outfits in an ironic way, I just look frumpy. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if I'm just being mean to myself. I think you have to have a certain kind of confidence to pull off a jumper that is four times too big for you. But in all honesty, I love oversized stuff because it's warm and cozy and comfy. So yeah, I'm gonna try style this now. So here we go.
Next up, I picked up two jackets and the first is this. Now this is a cropped puffer jacket, more specifically, the funnel neck puffer jacket in stone. I am more or less a size 12 at the moment, but I got this in a 14 purely because I want to layer some jumpers underneath it and be really warm. But if you're wearing some really nice jeans or pants underneath it, you'll still be able to see your butt because it's quite cropped. Ah, we have a loose thread. So I don't know if you can see, but the threading has come back on itself. And we've got a bit of a loose thread there, but that's nothing I can't trim off. In fact, we have quite a few loose threads on this one. Don't know if you can see. Other than that, it's a really nice thick puffer jacket and the padding is distributed really nicely. It's got really deep pockets on the outside, which I love. And then on the inside, it has more pockets for like your phone and secret snacks that you're not supposed to be having. And to close it up, it has a zip in the same color as the jacket, which I really like, and some press studs. It's so squishy, but yeah, let's go try this on. So the last clothing item I have is another jacket. I got myself a shacket. And not just any shacket, a long line shacket. This is the sassiest of shackets you will ever see. So again, it's in the stone color that I love and I got it in a medium because I wanted it to fit quite true to size. And it is in like a really thick kind of woven material. This is my first jacket, so I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't really expect it to feel a bit like a basket, if you know what I mean. It has no inner lining, it's just the woven material all the way through, but because it's quite stiff, I feel like it's going to have quite a good bit of structure when you're wearing it. It has two breast pockets, real breast pockets as well, and then it has buttons all the way down it, which work as well. So you could actually button it closed. So yeah, excited to style this one. So the last thing I got from Boohoo is a pair of shoes and not just any pair of shoes either. I picked up a pair of black thigh-high suede boots, suede effect boots. Now I actually bought myself a pair last winter from Just Fab. It's a sister company of Fabletics. I bought two of the same pairs of this style of boot but one in black and one in kind of like a tan colour. Now the tan colour fit me perfectly. Really uncomfortable to walk in and within a hundred yards I could barely stand any longer, but they fit and the black pair, bearing in mind it was the same boot in the same size, did not fit. I could hardly fit my foot in them, let alone do the zip up. So 
they had to go back. But yeah, they are a really, really pretty chunky heel, not too high. And I got these in a size seven. Now, usually I'm a seven in flats and then a six in heels. But I thought if I got these in a size seven, then I could slip like a little insole in and then hopefully that will make them a bit comfier if they turn out to be as uncomfortable as my Just Fab ones. But so far in trying them out, they are quite comfortable. These are the wide fit version. They have two. They have normal and wide fit. Now I got them in wide fit purely because I'll only be wearing these in winter so no doubt I will have a few pairs of tights under there or a pair of jeans with a pair of tights underneath them so again thinking ahead we'll see if it pays off. As I said they are thigh high, they're made of like this really nice soft suede effect material and they have a zip on the inside and then to keep them up at the back of the very top they've got like a little tie with rose gold detail at the end of them. So I just want to be able to go somewhere to wear these now without risking my life. <sighs> so that is everything I got from Boohoo. I, I am so impressed with the quality of every piece that I got. Like I said, considering the price I paid, I am more than happy with what I received. So I'm going to be keeping everything and I'm really happy to have all of these pieces in my wardrobe. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, comment and subscribe if you don't want to miss any future uploads. Let me know which item was your favourite and how you would style it. But for now, that's it from me. I hope you have a really good week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!